It's very poignant that we're here in Shepton Mallet today because this is where IMS Maxims went live with its first electronic patient record back in November 2009. And it's been used extensively since then to manage thousands of patients from the receipt of their request through the integrated care pathway that they receive in, in the treatment centre and onwards to, uh, to discharge. So for us, that's quite a, a journey that we've been on with them. And it's a great example of where most hospitals are trying to get to. Maxims has uh, benefited um, my role immensely because I'm able to look at the ICP um, and see where the patient is from the perspective of my nursing care. The nurses who are actually looking after the patients and are responsible for patient care actually complete the paperwork or the ICP on Maxims as they deliver the care. The outcome measures that are um, available to us on Maxims enable us to respond very quickly to issues that have arisen. Therefore, we can pick up and improve patient care. One of my staff members had no computer experience at all before coming here. She's very good in that she's now teaching others to use Maxims. We believe that the reason people choose to work with IMS is because, in their words, they say we're good to work with. I think we bring all of our experience every single day to the job that's in hand, which is understanding the individual's needs and how we can respond to them. It's the thing that we've been doing for over 28 years. The product will constantly move forward because needs move forward, medicine moves forward, and treatment of patients move forward. We should be able to provide systems that are really easily accessible but you shouldn't have to think about how to use They should lend themselves the way that you work because this is a human business, it's a people business. People delivering care for people. I think what I enjoy the most is matching the requirements of the users with the, the configuration required in the software. It's definitely having an impact because each and every time that there are changes in needs from either a clinical perspective or business perspective, we're making changes to meet those needs. And I'd say that the, the best point about IMS Maxim's product, from my point of view, is its ability to be locally configured. We can configure this system to meet those. Examples of this are where there have been sequin targets set with regard to, say, collecting data for VTE, for the risk of clots, and we were able to design a UDA, an, a, an assessment form, to collect this data, make sure that these assessments were done, and equally design a query to pull off so that they've got a report to prove. Paper notes, it was just like all over the place. This is really structured. We can go through it step by step. We know exactly what we've got to do. Um, and it just is really detailed as to how we can determine whether they're fit for surgery. I would definitely recommend it because, I mean, not everybody can read these surgeons' writing for starters. Once it's on there, it's on there. There's no chance of it getting lost. Whereas with the paper notes, stuff gets checked all over the place. Um, I thought it was quite a good layout. It was quite easy. Um, I probably picked up using Maxims within a week and a half, two weeks. I don't have to look about for anything. I just literally, it's just one click. I'm on what I need to do. And... You need to be as quick as possible, really. Phone rings, pull it down, the phone will ring again. So you've got to literally just have those few clicks to be able to get everything done. So with IMS, um, we can track where all the patients are throughout their time at the hospital. Also track all their orders that are coming in from the outpatients. Since Maxim has come in, it means everything is there that we need. When I call a patient prior, we always had to have sets of notes everywhere. Now it's on one ICP. I can check through the surgeon notes. I can check through the pre-assessment. I can check the blood results whilst I'm on the phone to the patient. Any additional information that's come in, they're all there. Even an ECG can be scanned onto the system so I can see that it's been signed. It makes our job so much easier and so much more efficient as well. With Maxims working alongside it, it's managed to progress our department. For the organisation, it's reducing their cancellations. For our patients, it means that their quality of care is much better. IMS enables us to be paper light. We're not paper free. And that has a massive impact both on terms of cost and on terms of continuity of care and access to clinical records. 
I think we've engaged end users. I think that we're very lucky here. We've got a great relationship with our with our end users. I think what we now need to do is join together the, the, these end users across the country, set up user groups and improve the collaboration between IMS and these end users with a view to moving forwards. The requirement gathering stage, there was a lot of collaboration between the, the development team at IMS and ourselves. And that was instrumental in trying to get this release right from the beginning. We've got a brilliant service delivery manager, Carrie. I want to ensure our customers get the, the best service that we can possibly give. Not only meet our service level agreements to each of our customers, but to exceed them. Sarah's great to work with. She knows her stuff. She's got a great team behind her. Great relationship. We hold a monthly call um, to go through any open issues where we can feed updates from both sides, whether it be from an, our internal system or local network issues. Something will always come up that will need require help. What I think our customers benefit from by being with us is that we have a very knowledgeable serviceless desk team. So there is that face-to-face -face contact and they get to know us on a personal level. We've heard today directly from the people who use our systems, our products who work with our people. And you've heard what our solutions mean to how they deliver their job, to the services that they provide to the patients that we're here to serve. I encourage you to, to talk to our users, but I welcome you and invite you to join us on our journey to help us develop our systems further to deliver the next stages. Um, it's great that we can deliver our solutions locally and that they are so configurable to, for what you need, but we are here to do these, these things on a national level and ultimately on an international level to affect positively as many citizens as we can worldwide. Our aim is to support the circle of life. Our aim is to reduce errors, it's to improve outcomes, and I, I hope that you can be part of that with us.